Lesson 4, Lesson Chapter 4, 3. Parking Maneuvers. Parking your car is a skill. To park easily, you need to control the vehicle with steering, backing, and understanding the reference points. Objective. Explain the difference among the three parking maneuvers. There are three basic ways to park. Number one, angle parking. Space can be at the curb or a street or in a parking lot. B, perpendicular parking is only used in a parking lot. And C, parallel parking is a method of backing between two vehicles that are parked along a curb. Reference points. A reference point is some part of the outside or inside of the vehicle as viewed from the driver's seat that relates to the part of the roadway. Knowing reference points enables you to put the vehicle exactly where you want it. Types of reference points. The reference points on a vehicle that are tip typical for most drivers is called standard reference points. A personal reference point is an adapt adaptation of a standard reference point for your own vehicle. The forward reference point is when steering should begin during a maneuver. Objective. Describe how to perform each parking maneuver. Angle and perpendicular parking. Angle parking. It is the easiest parking procedure to perform, but the most dangerous to exit because you are driving into traffic. To park in an angle space, number one, check behind you. Is the space legal and clear of obstacles and pedestrians? Tap your brake lights. Two, have at least six feet of side space away from the parking vehicle. Your vehicle reference points is the center of the car, the space of the curb. Quickly turn the steering wheels while the vehicle is moving slowly. Line up with a target at curbside, such as parking meters. Straighten the car and tires. Place the tip of the bumper even with the curb. Perpendicular parking. Follow the same steps for angle parking, except you will need at least eight feet of side space from the parking vehicle, parked vehicle, leaving an angle or perpendicular space. Backing out of a parking space is a high risk maneuver because you will be backing into potential traffic flow with your view blocked. Creep straight back. By controlling speed with your brake. When, you when your front bumper is even with the rear bumper of the vehicle that is on the opposite side of you, where you are backing and your vehicle will go, begin to turn your steering wheels. Stay close to the parking parked cars while backing to reduce risk from approaching traffic. Straighten the tires. Shift to the forward gear. Proceed straight forward as you check the front. Recheck behind you for the fast approaching vehicles. Perpendicular parking. You can reduce the risk of perpendicular parking by backing into a space, eliminating the need to back out of it. How you do this is signal to the right, check traffic to the rear, and tap your brake lights. Two, position your vehicle so that it is side is three feet from the parked car and your body appears to be aligned with the center of the parking spot. Select a target to your left using the outer edge of the driving mirror. Align the vehicle with the target while quickly turning your wheels. Line up your car with the parking space, straighten your tires, and shift to reverse. Back until the corner of the car 
parked next to you space is in your rear window blind spot. Then quickly turn the steering wheels all the way to the right while backing slowly. When your car is properly aligned in the space, strengthen your wheels. Back until the back line of the space appears to be in the middle of the rear side window. Use parallel parking to park parallel to the curb. Select a space that is five to six feet longer than your vehicle. Signal a right turn and flash your brake lights. Be sure it is legal and clear of the ob objects. Stop about three feet away from the parked car. Pull forward so that your rear bumper is even with the rear bumper of the vehicle parked in front of the space you want to enter. Back slowly when the back of the passenger seat is even with the rear bumper of the front vehicle. Straighten the wheels. Look over your shoulder through the rear window. When your front bumper is even with the front vehicle's back bumper, turn the wheel sharply left toward the street. Continue to back slowly to clear the front bumper, car's bumper. Check the back and front constantly. Straighten your wheels and center the car with the vehicles to parallel the curb. Leave parallel parking spot. You are responsible for avoiding collision when leaving a parallel parking spot. Search for a safe gap and yield to all oncoming traffic. Slowly back straight until your rear bumper almost touches the vehicle behind you. Turn the wheels sharply to the left as you stop. Signal left. Check left mirror and blind spot. Move forward. Check the right front corner for clearance. When halfway out of the parking spot and your passenger door is lined with the street side corner of the parked car, turn your wheels slowly to the right. Scan the front again and accelerate as you center your vehicle in the lane. Parking on hills. When parking uphill against a curb, turn the front wheels to the left. The curb acts as a stop right here. When pulling, when parking downhill or uphill where there is no curb, turn your wheels to the right. That way the rear, if something happens to the transmission or the brakes or something, if it starts to roll, it will roll backwards out of traffic. When parking downhill against the curb, turn the wheels to the right. Review. List the three basic types of parking methods. And two, you should, how should your tires be turned when parking uphill, downhill with a curb, uphill, downhill without a curb?